general goods at affordable prices. Found you. Huh? Wait, you came here looking for us? Of course. Do you have any idea how popular your charity stall is? Everyone's been talking about it. Favonian Goodies and Buddies, run by the honorary knight and their sidekick, is selling all kinds of fantastic treasures and even giving away some wonderful others for free. Don't miss out. Uh, so after all that, Paimon's back to being the sidekick? Hmm. Still, Paimon's really happy to hear that people are giving good reviews. Anyway, what have you two been up to these days? Did you go off on a trip or something? We haven't seen you around the whole festival. <laughs> That's because we're still working. Technically, Amber and I are on a vacation schedule. There are more merchant caravans than usual traveling the route between Dormanport and Mondstadt City during the festival. Extra traffic means extra security is required. Because of monsters and bandits and stuff? Yes. The Reconnaissance Company is tasked with patrolling this route during the festive period, as well as traveling with the caravans to ensure essential goods are delivered without incident. We have to investigate suspicious locations to eliminate any emerging threats. <sighs> that seems like a lot of work. Sounds like you'll be working non-stop around the clock right up until the end of the Vine Lisa Fest. Of course not. We take shifts. While one team is on duty, another is resting, and a third team is on standby in case of emergencies. These three teams rotate periodically. Yula's such an experienced captain. She arranged everything this way so that the reconnaissance company can meet the intense demand during the festival, while still giving everyone a chance to take some time off. Gotta say, great organizing, Yula. Yes, all right, Amber. I did my job like I always do. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Enough, both of you. The festive spirit is turning you into giddy little children. <clears throat> Anyway, we didn't come here just to chit-chat. I'll let Eula do the honors. Okay. I need 40 portions of Night Special Northern Smoked Chicken, and 40 of Favonia's favorite pile up That's such a huge order! What's the occasion? Wait, are the Knights of Favonia's having an official feast? How come nobody told us about it? <laughs> Nothing quite as glamorous as all that. Captain Eula wants some supplies to reward her team members with. Correct. Scouts use up an enormous amount of energy in a single day. Each meal, they eat enough to feed... Hmm... Four to five normal. Plus, a long-standing member has recently returned to our ranks after a long absence. I thought it would be fitting to celebrate the occasion. Of all the things I could have bought, I thought it would be best to have the money go to you. That way, I can support a charitable cause while I'm at it. Paimon agrees! You made the right decision, Eula. It's what we business owners call a win-win situation. Also, about this long-standing member you mentioned, is it that guy we met recently? Nika, the frontline land surveyor. He was a vital member of our team before the Grandmaster borrowed him for the expedition. Nika! Yeah, that's the one! Paimon never would have thought that shy little guy was such a strong knight. Mika's not afraid of you guys. That was his way of showing respect to you. Although, admittedly, it is kind of a roundabout way of doing it. He thinks all mighty people have unique personalities and prefers to understand what makes them tick and the way they think before properly interacting with them. He says it makes it easier to communicate that way. He was the same way toward me and Amber at first. As we gradually got to know each other, 
he started acting more naturally. Interesting. Sounds like Mika's the one with the unique personality. Mm-hmm. It'll just take a little time, that's all. You are a high-profile figure within the Knights of Favonius. As his commanding officer, I have a duty to make sure no misunderstandings arise between you. Uh, it's all right, Yula. We get it. You're just looking after him. Wait, Yula, did you just pay for my portion too? I was supposed to pay for mine separately. I'm not an official member of the Reconnaissance Company. <sighs> if you want to get official about it, then fine. It's officially my treat. There, now stop worrying. Honorary Knight, Paimon, I have the most wonderful news. Thanks to your sterling efforts, the funds we've raised in this charity sale have blown our original predictions right out of the water. It's a phenomenal success. Paimon told you so. We're good at this stuff. Ah, but you two deserve all the credit. It's your expert management that made this event what it was. I've handed over all the revenue to the person responsible for managing our charitable funds. And with that, the event finally comes to a close. As a gesture of our appreciation, we'd like to give you both a fee for all your hard work. You've more than earned it. After this, I feel like I could even run a shop of my own in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the chance to work together one day. It feels like we accomplished a lot together. If the chance ever comes up, let's do it again! Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. So it is where...